for oily skin. So if you have oily skin, this summer glowy makeup look will totally be perfect for you because I suffer from getting oily skin, especially in the summertime when it gets hot, it gets so much worse. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Cicely. You should go ahead and click that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so the very first product I'm using to start off this makeup look is of course a sunscreen because in the summertime you for sure always need to be protecting your skin. And this one is SPF 50 which is super amazing and again all of the products are going to be linked in the description box below. So make sure you go check them out if you are interested in seeing the specifics about each product. But next I am just applying the Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturizer and this is the key to all of my glowy makeup looks. It seriously makes your skin shine and just look so beautiful with Without looking oily which I love now I'm taking one of my absolute favorite foundations and this is the covergirl outlast stay fabulous 3-in-1 foundation from the drugstore it's so cheap and it's honestly such a great foundation if I'm going a little bit more glam in the summertime I for sure love using this one as well it has SPF in it so it's keeping your skin nice and protected then I am taking the YSL Touche Clay radiance highlighting pen and I'm just using that to brighten under my eyes and all of the high points of my face Maybe I don't know enough talking or need to know the show more. Maybe we don't know enough talking. Gotta be right now, right now. Baby, go love me now. So then I am setting all of the products with my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder and I am just focusing it on my T-zone and under my eyes where I tend to get a lot more oily. That way throughout the day my foundation will stay on and everything will look super nice and clean. So next I am taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I am just contouring my face and warming it up a little bit because again the foundation can kind of wash out my skin so this brings a little color back into my face and helps it match the rest of my body. So now I am taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Pearlescent Pink. If you guys watch YouTube for any length of time now, you know how iconic that blush is. Next, I am taking the Artist Couture Illuminati Diamond Glow Powder, and I am using that to highlight again on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Now moving on to eyebrows, I am just going ahead and combing them out with a spoolie and then taking an angled brush with my Coastal Sense Revealed palette and I'm just taking a matte lighter brown color just to fill in my brows. If you guys want to see a full detailed brow routine, comment down below and I could totally do that for you. To set my eyebrows and keep them in place all day, I am taking my clear brow gel from The Brow Gal, and this is such a great product, you guys. Seriously, it's one of my favorites. So next, I am just taking the Kat Von D Eye Primer, and I am putting that on my eyes to prep for eyeshadow. Moving on to eyeshadow, I am taking my Persona Identity Palette, and I am taking the shade Sassy and applying that all over my lid as a base color. In the same palette, I am going in with the shade Humble and Charming and mixing them together and putting them into my crease as a blending color. Next, I am just taking a clean, fluffy brush to blend out all of the harsh lines. Going back into my identity palette, I'm taking the shades Maverick and Charming and mixing them together to apply to the outer corner of my eyes just to deepen up the look and make it a little bit more intense. Then I am just touching up my eyeshadow a little bit on the lid with the shades Gold Digger and again Sassy and when I've mixed them together it creates kind of a beigey color which I really really like. Then I'm just going back in with the color called Sassy and applying that under my brow bone as a highlight. Again, I also took the shade Sassy and applied it to the inner corner to brighten my eyes. Now I am just going in with my Jessie's Girl Black Liquid Liner, which is absolutely, hands down, my favorite drugstore eyeliner ever, you guys. It's so amazing and black and pigmented and matte, which I love. And I'm just going ahead and applying a wing. This is optional. I prefer it, especially if you're going for a little bit more of a glam look. This is the look that you could totally wear out on a date or if you have a fun event in the summertime. It is a little bit more glam, so if this is too much for you, you can totally skip this step but just to sharpen up my wing this is a little trick that I do I just go ahead and take that highlighting concealer from YSL and put it right under the wing just to make it really really sharp and have a nice clean line and then lastly for my eyes I am just taking the iHeart Extreme Essence Mascara in the shade of black and applying that to my upper and lower lashes so good, so good, so good. 
Riding in the drop top at the top down, so you're switching lanes, girl. Pull up to the red light. And then, of course, you can't forget about lips, so I am taking the YSL Rouge Volup Shine Oil and Stick Lipstick in the shade 43 and applying that to my lips. It's the absolute perfect color for summer, you guys, and I really think that it just completed the look. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Again, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.